Ableton Live's effect racks are really powerful tools and you can use them to achieve parallel processing easily. One of the best uses of this is a parallel or New York style compression. This effect is great because it combines the loudness of a compressed sound with the dynamic punch of an uncompressed sound. Start by dragging Garage Beat 120 onto an audio track and add a compressor effect. Right click the compressor and select Group. This puts the effect in an effect rack. We can't see the different chains in the effect rack until we activate the Show Hide Chain List button, so click this now. You'll see there's just one chain at the moment which contains our compressor effect. To create another effect chain, right click where it says drop audio effects here and select create chain. This gives us a new chain with no effects on it. Both chains are set at 0 dB, so if we play the project back now this will overload live's input so we need to turn both of these down to minus 6 dB to get the same overall output level. To prevent the compressor effect from making its chain peak louder than it already does, add a limiter after the compressor. Now, no matter what compressor settings we use, we're not going to overload this channel. Turn the threshold down to minus 20 dB and set the compressor's ratio to something drastic like 8. If we're using normal compression, the, the settings would be far too much as we'd totally fudge the beat's transients. However, thanks to the fact we've got the unprocessed effect chain in the mix too, we're not going to lose too much of the beat's impact. Play the beat back and try bypassing and unbypassing the effect chain. The channel peaks pretty much the same level with either setting, but when the effects are active, we get much more perceived volume. If the effect is too much for you, simply turn down the ratio or turn up the threshold. If you want to use this effect on other channels and in other projects without all the effort of setting it up each time, then it's a good idea to save hours as a preset. To do this, select the Save Preset button on the effect rack itself. You'll see a new preset appears in the Presets, Audio Effects, Audio Effects Rack part of the library. Uh, and it'll, the name will already be highlighted for you to add a name so let's add NY Comp say and press enter to save. You can now use this preset as and when you wish um, and while traditionalists would say we've already compressed this beat too much let's try just adding it again after our first NY Comp and uh, see what happens. Okay now this gives us a really quite compressed signal which is really really loud and everything but you make what you might not notice as as quickly as that is that we it's really diminishing like the impact of the bass that, that the kick is having in the sound so that's one last little tip is when you are doing extreme processing like this um do take time to really try and listen to the sound and make sure you're not really losing what it is about the original sound that is kind of like doing it for you in the first place